Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, we are going to be discussing circles and specifically radius and diameter. So as you can see, there are four numbers on your screen. Numbers one and two, we're going to discuss what radius and diameter are. On the right, we're gonna talk about how to find radius if we're given a diameter or vice versa, how to find diameter if we're given a radius. So let's hop right into number one here and talk a little bit more about radius. The radius is the distance from the center of the circle to the edge. So for number one there, we have an example. The radius or distance from the center to the edge is three inches. And the radius is the center to any point around the edge of the circle. So it can be marked from the center point and we can go down here. That's going to be three inches as well. So as long as you go from the center point to the edge, your radius will be three inches there for number one. And again, the radius is the distance from the center of the circle to the edge. Now for number two, we have diameter. And diameter is a straight line from one side of the circle to the other. And it has to pass through the center of the circle. It cuts it perfectly in half. So for number two there, we have a diameter of four centimeters. So it's four centimeters all the way across that circle. Now a diameter does not have to go from left to right um, and horizontally like it does in number two. It can go in any which way as long as, it, as long as it goes from an edge through the center to the other side, to the other edge. This would not be a diameter if I went from edge to edge there because I did not pass through the center. Again, the diameter cuts a circle directly in half. So for number three, we are given a diameter and we need to figure out what the radius is. So just like we mentioned in number two there, the diameter is all the way across the circle and a radius is from the edge to the center point. So the radius is actually exactly half of a diameter. So if you're ever given a diameter and you need the radius, all you need to do is cut the diameter in half. So the radius for number three is going to equal four feet because it's half of the diameter. Now for number four, we're going to do the opposite. So we're given the radius of 10 inches and we need the diameter. So we do the opposite. We need to multiply that radius by two because we have 10 inches plus another 10 inches here to give us a total of 20 inches. So if we're given a radius, we just need to double that and we have the diameter. So there you have it. There's a little intro uh, when it comes to radius and diameter. Hopefully you found that helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, peace.